Well, folks, over the past month, I ended up bringing home four more tractors. Ended up getting some pretty good deals on them. I was lucky enough to get a hold of them and get them here. So to start off with, this is a Cub Cadet 125 hydrostatic. It's a 1968. It has the Kohler K301 12-force in it. Starter generator. And it was spray bombed by the previous owner at some point in its life. And then it sat underneath his deck for four years until this morning when I went to pick it up. We drug it out of there. Tires are still holding air, so hopefully that stays like that. I don't have to bother tubing them or changing them. It's going to need a really good general going through. All the electrical is going to have to be gone through. The gas tank's going to get cleaned out. Carburetor have to be rebuilt. The exhaust is all rotted out, so on and so forth. Transmission, hydrostatic. Don't know if it's good or not. I'm assuming that it is and hoping that it is. I know the shift lever is going to have to get freed up for it because that's seized down below. Steering's got a pretty fair amount of play, and the steering box is actually loose on its mounts, so that's going to have to get taken care of. And I think I'm going to end up taking the fenders and the transmission tunnel and probably the dash off of this just to get to everything else underneath because it's so tightly packed in and there's really no access panels. But aside from that, it cleaned up pretty good. I power washed it when I got home. I blew all the mildew off of it, and it cleaned up pretty nice. I'm pretty excited about this one actually because I've never had a Cub Cadet before. Never really bothered to look for one until this one showed up on Craigslist so I figured I'd pick it up. So I'm looking forward to going through it, kind of delving into it and seeing what it holds and hopefully this will turn out to be a pretty good machine because aside from any, any everything else it is in pretty fair shape. So that's all for this one and I'll take you guys and I'll show you the rest of them. This here is a Massey Ferguson MF-14 Nearest I can figure it's a 1973, if I'm reading the serial number right. It has the 48-inch deck, hydrostatic, high-low range transmission, three-point hitch, and hydraulic lift, center and rear. It's a pretty nice tractor. Real big. It's got 26-inch rear tires on it. It's definitely going to need some work. It's a little more rough than what I originally thought it was. The plastic bezel on the front of the grill. I'm going to have to find another one of those, along with the plastic dash because where it mounts down underneath in the steering column, down under there, it's all snapped, and it's all loose and everything. Also gonna have to find another gas tank for it. It's gonna need a really good revamp, a good wash, general going over and all that. But I've been looking for one of these masses for a while now, and I was lucky enough to come across this one, and I'm pretty happy with it, so far at least. Three point hitch is complete. I have to get that working again. Big old hydrostatic transmission. I was told it was running about two years ago. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. I'm going to have to fix the grill. The deck on it is pretty well rotted. One of the hangers on the right hand side is actually rotted off the deck. So I can't lift it up, regardless of whether I get it going or not. So that's going to be coming off of here. And I might have a hay band sickle bar that will fit this that I picked up. You guys haven't seen it yet. And I'm really hoping it goes on here. But we'll have to see once I get it going. I'll see if I can fit it up. But I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. It's going to need a good bath. And I think it will clean up and be a nice tractor. And with this one, the guy also threw in the Sears with a deal. It's a 1969, from what I know of, Sears SS12. has the 12 horse Tecumseh engine, the deck, and it's in really, really tough shape. It was sitting around outside for quite some time. A lot of rot on it, a lot of rust, a lot of corrosion on the aluminum dash. The wheel is actually rotted off the rim where those are supposed to be spot welded on. Those two are actually still on there, amazingly enough. So it's in pretty rugged shape. And the plans for this one, I was going to originally part it out or sell it, but I kind of want to get it going if possible and just leave it just the way it is and just kind of have an old rusty rat tractor, which would be kind of cool. It's either that or me and Dad were thinking about making a half track out of it, just for kicks, I guess, another homemade project. But either way, we'll see if we can get it going again. So that's these two, and I'll show you guys the last one. And lastly, this is the Jacobson G10 golf course tractor, 
was made for pulling the big gang mowers and the sweepers out on the golf courses and things of that nature. So I picked this up off of Craigslist. I've been looking for one for quite a while now, probably longer than I've been looking for the Worthington. And I passed up one on one about a year or so ago, and then this showed up back in February or March. I forgot when we picked this one up. And I got it for a really good price. It was fairly cheap, and the guy just wanted it gone. And he said it had to run about 10 years or so, so I know it's going to need a lot of going through. The fuel system's going to have to get done, the carburetor, ignition, and everything else. It's got a Ford 172 industrial engine in it, a Dana 60 one-ton rear end, and a four-speed transmission. It's pretty much the same as the Worthington, only a little updated. The frame is relatively similar to it. And it'll do 40 miles an hour, just like the Worthington. I think they're both geared about the same, only this Jacobson's built a little bit heavier, which is what I like. Tires are in pretty good shape. It's got nice old traction tires on it. The rear of it is has three-point hitch capabilities. You could buy these with wet lines and hydraulics and all that cool stuff. Unfortunately, none of it's on here. Somebody added this bumper bar to the front of it, so I'm going to have to cut that off of there. It has factory headlights. This front grille actually hinges open to access the radiator, which I thought was pretty neat. And right now I just got it sitting over here on my 61 over at my uncle's place because I don't really have that much room at the house at the moment with everything else I've brought home. And once I finish doing some work on the 61, which I've been doing this spring, we can get this to the house. And I think I'm going to be doing some repair videos on this, providing time allows. And as for the rest of the tractors, the Sears, I bought, I got that one sight unseen. I was hoping I could flip it over, but I think that one's going to be sticking around for now. The Cub Cadet is I'm going to be turning over just to try to turn a profit from all these. And the Massey Ferguson, I think that one and this Jacobson are both going to be getting repair videos. Everything else, maybe something on the Sears, but we'll have to see. So anyways, folks, there you have it. And that's just the four tractors that I brought home over the past month. Really excited to delve into them, so that's all for now.